Asterus is uh, today really a factory that is at the state of the art, and in some cases is doing better than other factories across the globe. They are working today in manufacturing PWR fuel, BWR fuel, and VVR. It's interesting the evolution of this factory. Years ago, about 15 years ago, this, the majority of the, of the fuel manufacturing in this factory was BWR, and BWR fuel for the local nuclear power plants. We move from that to manufacture PWR fuel for other customers, like the German customers and also French EDF. And now we are incorporating VVR, and we are, we are producing and we will produce more fuel to Ukraine, and in the future to the Czech Republic, and who knows if we could uh, produce also fuel for Bulgaria or uh, Finlandia for the VBR 440 type of reactors. Uh, fuel is an extremely complex part of the plants. It's a, it's a complex item to innovate. Um, there are many parts and pieces, and Westinghouse has been investing in people, facilities, and technology for decades. Um, fuel is complex because you have to have the interaction of the material with the system, with the parts, and of course then the manufacturing. And so we have spent a lot of time and money continuing to improve our product based on what we know to be going on in terms of operating experience. It has allowed us to really come up with some incredible um, materials, incredible designs on our fuel grid structure, um, advancements in our safety analysis methods, and um, it's allowed us to be successful in licensing and getting these new products into, um, into the operating plants today. I think it's important for our customers uh, worldwide and specifically in EMEA to understand that first of all we really appreciate their confidence in their business. We don't take that lightly. We have significantly grown our nuclear fuels uh, backlog in the Americas and EMEA of late. So we treat that as, a, as something that's really important. That shows confidence in us. I think we are the number one fuel provider in the world. We are obviously branching out and being very successful in the VVER market. Yeah. We're being very successful with uh, extensions on our fuel contracts. And the reality is we're a pretty good player in the PWR and BWR market in EMEA. We're a prominent player in the Americas of 80% of the market share on PWR fuel. So we understand that our performance and fuel reliability is really important. We don't want, you don't want to hear about leakers. You don't want to hear about any disruptions to a fuel product. And, and obviously in, in some regulatory compacts, when you have a leaker, it creates a regulatory concern for the utility with the rating with the regulatory body. We want you to know that we take those things very seriously. We want to continue to advance our product and our relationship with you uh, as a customer and provider. And we're very excited about the progress we've made in nuclear fuels and our, and our standing in the market. But it doesn't happen unless we have great customers like we do in the EMEA region.